Hello and welcome to our worship today from the parishes of Tidenham, St Breville's with Hulesfield and Brockwear. My name is David Trahan and I'm the vicar and priest in charge of the parishes and I'm here in the vicarage garden with the background noise so I'll try and speak over that so you can hear me. Today was meant to have seen family worship take place on the field behind St Luke's Church in Tuts Hill. Sadly however we've been unable to do that today because of the continuing situation with coronavirus. However, this morning Jane, Fiona, myself, together with other members of the church have tried to do the next best thing by putting together some worship today, some of which is outside. And the worship is for all the church family, all ages, so whatever age you are, in body or in mind, please join in as we go along and let us worship the Lord together. And we're going to start today by lighting a candle. I had a go at this before, it kept going out as I was lighting the match, so let's hope it does it this time. Oh. Yes, success. If you have a candle at home um, that's easily accessible, perhaps you'd like to go and get one and light one now. It's great fun lighting candles, isn't it? I love it. And it's got great meaning for us as we light candles in worship, reminding us that Jesus is the light of the world. As we look at that flame, a reminder that Jesus is with you, with me, with us, lighting up our lives and guiding us day by day. So, as we gather today, as the church family, let us worship the Lord, all praise to his name. Well, I've just uh, been picking some leeks, lovely tasty leeks from the vegetable patch that are still there. Got a little bit muddy though, but not a patch on our puppy Leo, who when he goes out on his walks, gets absolutely caked in mud as he rolls around uh, in, in all the mud, playing with some of his newfound friends. And I think there's a little picture it might come up on the screen illustrating just how muddy he gets. Of course after a long walk or a run or time out in the garden all you want to do is go into the house and flop on the sofa but of course when you're covered in mud you can't do that. I think Cathy would kill me if I went into the house and into the lounge and sat down without cleaning up first. We need to do the cleaning up bit and uh, we might hose Leo down if he's been out and about or we might need a little bit of a hose over our feet and legs uh, before we can go in. But it's a great feeling isn't it when all the mud is off we're all nice and clean. And this whole cleaning process just got me thinking when we choose not to live God's way, when we don't listen to, to God, when we ignore him, when we don't love him, his world, if we're mean, selfish and unkind to others it's like we get muddy inside, all grimy and, and dirty. And we call this sin, and sin makes us unclean and it needs to be sorted out. If we don't sort it out, we would flop on our beds every night, unclean inside, and not helping the world, which isn't a nice thought, and no way to live. So just as this water washes outwardly. We pray that Jesus would wash us inwardly and clean us up. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us so much and you died on the cross for our sins. We ask you now to forgive all our sins. Please make us clean inside and fill us with your love. Amen. Let's join together to worship God and celebrate that he has the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby 
in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. We've come to the part of the worship where we're going to construct our Christingles. So you either need the pot and the soil and all the other bits, or the paper sheet which could be printed from our Facebook page or our parish website, along with a pair of scissors and something to glue with. If you haven't got those things, why not pause the video and go and get them? And if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. You can still join in with the worship, watching others make their Christingles. Now we're going to fill our pots with soil. So I hope you've got yours. You can use your hands, like that. Or you could use a trowel or a spade if you want to, but make sure you fill it up with enough soil. You might want to pause the video to do that. The pot, the earth, this represents our world. Have you ever stopped to think how wonderful our world is? Sure you have. All the different sorts of earth. All the different sorts of plants and animals, trees and fish in the sea, all the very different people. And God made each one. God gives us our planet to look after. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonder of your creation. Thank you for the variety of your creation. Thank you for every animal, every creature, every fish that swims, every bird that flies, for all the snowflakes in the world that have ever been or ever will be and no two the same. Thank you for us. Help us to look after your world properly. Thank you that you trust us to look after it. Give us wisdom, we pray. Help us to make good decisions about your earth. Amen. We've got our pot filled with soil, filled with earth. Now we're going to plant our bulbs. Your bulbs might have a little shoot where the plant's beginning to grow, that's fine. Or they may not have any sign of growth yet. And we're going to plant one, two, three, four bulbs to remind us of the four seasons that we have on our earth. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. But our bulbs also have some other meanings. So Fiona is going to lead us in some prayer and reflection as we plant our bulbs in the soil. 
I would like us to think as we plant our bulb that each bulb is a prayer, a prayer that we're going to plant in the heart of God. And then it will be hidden and safe, but never forgotten. So let's plant our first bulb now. I've got a spoon. You may want to use your fingers. So as I plant the bulb, Lord, I want to praise you for making such a wonderful world with plants and trees and animals and with human beings. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We praise your name. Have you got your first bulb planted? Good. Second bulb. Lord, we think about other people now and we plant the bulb and we ask you to look after people who today may be feeling sad or sick or frightened or lonely or just very, very tired. Lord, keep them in your heart. Help them, we pray. Bulb number three. Lord, we ask for hope now. And we plant this bulb deep because we want to ask for hope for ourselves, for other people and for our world, especially at this time with so much hardship and sickness and sadness. Give us hope for a new tomorrow, Lord a way past coronavirus, a way past poverty and hunger and thirst. Help us to help you build a new world full of hope. And finally, our fourth bulb. This bulb is to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for listening to our prayers. Thank you for keeping them safe. Thank you that you are going to answer our prayers. Thank you that you will surprise us with your answers. Thank you for all you give us. I'm going to say four amens now. Amen. 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 We have our pot filled with soils and we've planted our bulbs in it, those prayers. Now we're going to take the red ribbon or piece of wool or tape. Or if you haven't got those, you might have a red pen that you can draw. And we're going to put it all the way around our pot. You might need someone to help you do this. And that red ribbon goes all the way round. You know what this reminds me of, Jane? No. It reminds me of a great big hug around the world. It's like Jesus loves circling the whole world right round. It's love for you, love for me, love for every single person in every single country in the whole world and throughout time. Jesus' love meant that he died on the cross and shed his blood for us. That's why it's red. But also, whenever we draw a love heart, don't we colour it red? So it's a big, helpful symbol of Jesus' love. And I want to say thank you for your love now, Lord. Thank you for your saving love, which reaches out across the world, across time, to everybody you've ever made. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to join together 
in singing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. We have our pot filled with soil which reminds us of the earth. We have our four bulbs hidden underneath the soil in darkness, growing those four seasons of the world and our prayers to God. And we have the red ribbon all the way around the earth, that great big hug of God's love in Jesus. Now we're going to take our candle, whatever size you've got, you may even have one that's powered by a battery and pop the candle, just press it into the soil in the middle of your four bulbs. Now my candle isn't lit yet, but when it is lit, what will it give us? It gives us light, doesn't it? I'm going to light the candle now. And if you've got a grown up with you, they might light to help you light your candle. Do that very carefully now. Look at that light. It dances. It's warm. It's so beautiful and full of life. It's light and it can guide us. Lights like lighthouses that show where danger is or like guiding lights which show the safe way into a harbour. Light that chases away darkness. Light that reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. But no matter how dark it gets, no matter how worrying things are, Jesus is our light, our hope, our life, our joy. Let's say a thank you prayer for hope and light now. Thank you for your light, Lord. Thank you for being our light in darkness. Thank you that nothing can ever, ever, ever put your light out. Thank you that you came into our world to be light for everyone. Amen. Amen. Now we have our Christingle. We are going to keep our candle lit and join together in what we all believe about God. I will ask some questions and if this is what you believe, you can say, yes, I do. The words will come up on your screen. 
Do you believe in Father God who made the world? Yes, I do. Do you believe in his son, Jesus Christ, who lived and died and rose again? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Holy Spirit who lives amongst us now? Yes, I do. And let's say together, we believe in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Yes, we do. If you'd like to, you may now blow out your candle. Jesus is our light. Let's join together now to worship him, singing, Here I am to worship. We will now have our Bible reading read by Lacey. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. From the very beginning, the Word was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. The Word was the source of life. And this life brought light to people. 
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. This was the real light, the light that comes into the world and shines on all people. The Word became a human being, and full of grace and truth, living among us, we saw his glory, the glory which he received as the Father's only Son. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let's join together to say that prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. It's the first Sunday of this month, so it's the time when we celebrate birthdays in our church family. And there's lots of birthdays this month. In our children and young people, there's Archie, Jacob, Millie, Lila, Max, Catherine and James. And amongst the adults, there's lots of birthdays I know about and probably lots that I don't know anything about. There's Sky. Holly, Kate, Jenny, Mary, Jean, and in our staff team, there's our reader James, Reverend Nikki, and Reverend Janice. So let's sing happy birthday. And when we've sung through our two songs, maybe you'd like to blow out your candle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear February babies. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless February babies. May the good Lord bless you. So if you have a celebration this month, have a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining us in our online worship today. And a big thank you to all who've taken part in the service, particularly a big thank you also to my colleagues who are working so hard during this time. If you would like to contribute to the costs of us being church, we normally have collections, but we haven't been able to do that lately, then please do find a way of giving. There's details on the weekly briefing or you can contact any of the church officers and we'll be able to signpost you into how to give financially. But we need your support prayerfully and every other way too uh, during this time. If you would like to join Zoom Coffee um, at 11.30 today, there are details in the parish briefing or on the parish Facebook, Facebook group. Please feel free to pop along and share the time together. It'd be lovely to see you. And a final blessing. The peace of God, the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon each of you, your homes and those you love, this day and always. Amen. Now go and shine. Go and shine as a light in the world to the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Within my heart